Good day, soldiers, it's me, the guy you've never heard of before, and I'm here to continue to delay the tutorial I actually promised by making a tutorial for an outdated function that no one cares about. <laughs> but for real, I'm really sorry about the delays. I've been promising the tutorial for quite a while now, but uh, those of you who don't know, I and a few of my friends have been working on a tutorial that teaches many things that aren't obvious to new players and could significantly improve the gameplay experience for them. I had originally intended to include this in that video, but as more time goes on, it's becoming more clear to me that this project will take much longer than I originally anticipated. Though, this is mainly due to Snake's features being so obscure and hard to understand. Screw you, Snake. In the meantime, I've decided to release this video teaching how to set up the in-game chat. After all that filler, let's jump into it. Firstly, there are three main ways to communicate with your fellow players without the use of third-party software. You can use the preset radio commands, you can type a message, or you can use the microphone to access in-the-game voice chat. However, you must also have the host enable it before the game. Sadly, typing with the controller can take an impressively long time to type anything of substance, and the game seemingly won't support a mic that isn't the USB Logitech headset. So, if you're on PC, that seems like a dead end, huh? Well, you'd be wrong. There's a way you can make both the typing faster and the microphone actually work. However, we'll start with PS2 players. You can simply plug in a USB keyboard and type using that. It's easier said than done while in-game, but you can make it work, I'm sure. Unfortunately, that's the easier one out of the two options for PS2. The other option is get a Logitech headset. There still is no way around that that I know of. Feel free to let me know if there seems to be an update to mean that you don't need that anymore. Anyway, I had vastly better news for the PSXX2 players. Using both uh, voice chat and text chat is very easy to set up and you don't need anything special. Firstly, you'll need a nightly build of PCSX2, but frankly, why would you not? It's laggy as heck without using one. Then you'll need to open it up and go to config, then USB settings. From here, your steps are going to deeply depend on what type of device you're setting up. For the voice chat, you're going to need to select the device type as Logitech USB headset, and I have a port. Then, on the same port number, change the device API from No OP to Was API. Then click Configure next to that port. From here, you're going to need to select your microphone and audio input. Me personally, I have both Player 1 and Player 2 set up to the mic because it's not unheard of that the game will actually have a stroke and read the wrong player number as your input port. From that, all you have to do is select your speakers or headphones as the audio output, and once you do that, you should be set. To test this, join a game with someone with voice chat enabled, and your name should have a microphone icon next to it. From here, holding select will enable a push-to-talk mode. Bear in mind, only people with a headset setup will actually be able to hear you. And now for the keyboard. Go back into the USB settings menu and select HID keyboard as your device type. And this part should be done for you, but it never hurts to make sure that whatever port you just set up for the keyboard, now next to device API, it should say raw input for that port. Once you've done that, it's all done. Funnily enough, that's it. The easiest way to check that it worked is type something in game. So you you know, just go into game, press any keyboard uh, on the keyboard to activate the chat, or press select twice to bring it up. At that point, there's only one thing you might want to take care of before calling it a day, after your valiant work. You need to go to systems, then go to hover over the game settings menu, then make sure enable input recording is not checked. Otherwise, the emulator will treat the spacebar as going into frame advance mode, causing the game to essentially lock up every time you press it. By the way, shoutouts to my buddy Vault from Discord for showing me how to do this. If you want to be especially fancy like myself, you can set up both, meaning you can have the headset in one port and the keyboard on the other. Then, you can do both in game. You can speak using the headset, you can type using your keyboard. But that's all from me. Until next time, folks.